Hi. In this video we will show you, how can you use server side scripts feature, to optimize this, full height revolution slider. The slider looks nice, but let's check what Google think about it. Yes, mobile scores are really bad. It was rendered really slowly. Let's check desktop scores. Oh, desktop test is even timed out. We already ran autoconfig, it is always a good start. Let's tweak the settings a bit. Switch to advanced view. Go to optimization. Scripts. Enable async execute and delay async scripts. And switch critical CSS to viewport based. Safe settings. Clear the cache and go to the dashboard. Cache the home page. And check what we get now. Well, the scores are much better now, but if we check the screenshot, we can see that the slider is missing. The problem is, that we delayed all scripts, and the slider is rendered with JavaScript. So the site will load without the slider, and it will be rendered only when the user interact with the page. The speed has been improved, but the missing slider is really bad for the user experience. So go back to style settings, and add some extra critical CSS. We creates a placeholder for the slider, set the width and the height, and also set the height for the wrapper. Okay, let's see what we did. Go to the dashboard. Clear all cache. Pre-build is running. Now check page speed insights again. Scores remains the same, and we have the placeholder. For mobile as well. Let's see it in action. There is the placeholder. And the slider loads now. Now check the source. Inspect the slider. There is the main container inside a few other containers. And the slides. This HTML markup has been generated with JavaScript. Let's see what is the original source. We refresh the page, but don't move the cursor. The main container is the same, but inside it is a bit different. And there is the first slide. Okay, move the cursor now. And the HTML just has been updated. It is time to use server-side scripts to render the slider without client-side JavaScript. Go to Optimization, Scripts, and scroll down to server-side JavaScript. Now we add the script. First we check, that is there any slider on the actual page. Then find the first slide image. Clone the image. Create a wrapper div. Add a unique class to the wrapper to be able to styling it. Then add a class to the cloned image as well. Put the cloned image tag to the wrapper. And put the wrapper to the main slider container. Now go and test what we did. Save settings. Go to the dashboard. Clear cache. Pre-build is running. Okay, let's check in the browser first. The image is loaded now without JavaScript. And if we move the mouse, the animation runs as well. Okay, let's check the scores again. Scores are still okay. The image is loaded on the screenshot as well. 
However, if we check it, the image is not sized properly on mobile yet. We need to add some extra critical CSS to fix it. We add a media query, set the mobile breakpoint, and resize the image on mobile. That is all. Okay, generate the cache again, and check what we did. Pre-build just finished. Let's check page speed insights again. Well done. The image is properly sized on mobile as well. And the desktop version is still good too. Now let's go and check the source. Here is the main slider container. And here is the pseudo slide what we created with server side scripts. Of course the mobile score can be further improved. We need to preload the main image, convert images to WebP, and use Cloudflare or a faster server. Thank you for watching.